All right, how you guys doing? It's Mike from MF Woodshop. I uh, don't have a build video today, but I am going to show you the project that I did today. Um, mostly because I got a couple questions that maybe you guys can help me out with. And I also got a question about a clamp that you guys can maybe help me out with. Um, so let me show you what I built today, and uh, uh, I'll ask questions here at the end of the video. Thank you. Okay, here's what I built today. Uh, this table here. It's a fold-up table. And uh, one of the questions I got is I got this big gap here because the hardware is, or the uh, plywood is uh, uh, bowed out. It's not very good plywood. The plywood and the hardware was pretty much given to me. That's the only reason I pretty much built this. Um, but just to show you how much it is, I don't know if you can see that line. It's a good uh, three eighths of an inch or so uh, warped, and it's right there. Um, let me uh, readjust the uh, camera. I'll show you the inside. Okay, so this is the table upside down. Um, that warp is on this board here and uh, it in this view it bowed down and uh, my original thought was I can just put a brace here and a brace here and actually square those up uh, but with the folding hardware because this table folds up I can't do that um, at the most I could put uh, at the most I could put in here is about 10 inches on either side I'm not sure if that would actually do anything for me because um, like I said this folds up like that and then the whole thing also folds up and slaps down So that's kind of my dilemma on this, and it's not really a big deal, but if somebody has the answer for that, um, I might take that under consideration and try to straighten that piece out. Um, but the other question I got is on a clamp, and uh, I'll readjust the camera and uh, ask that question as well. A couple people asked me about my whirly gig, uh, how I built uh, the uh, uh, make the globe spin, and I'm going to show you that now how I did that. Okay, on my uh, whirly gig here. Uh, if you haven't seen my whirly gig video, uh, I'll post a link on the uh, in the description, and uh, so you can see the whole thing in action. Um, just a quick overview here as the uh, propeller spins that globe right there it also rotates and uh, Superman over here he comes up and down I don't know if you can see that I'm not spinning it fast enough here there we go so you can see Superman up and down and you can see the globe spinning 
Now the questions that I've had was, uh, uh, I believe Sterling asked me and uh, another guy asked me how I got that uh, globe to spin. Well, I couldn't show you on the video because I was limited on two minutes. But right down through here, you can see the pulley at the bottom right here. That is attached to the drive shaft. It's also attached to a rubber band right here. And it comes up to this pulley. And obviously put those together and makes the pulley spin. The other thing that I had, I had a RC drive shaft, RC car drive shaft with a U-joint in it. As you could see, let me get on the other side here. As you can see spinning there, that black piece, this piece right here, that is an RC car drive shaft with a U-joint. That gives me the angle that I wanted for the ball, for the globe, and that also allowed me to actually spin it off that pulley right there. So that's how that worked. All right, so that's all I got today. Um, once again, this is Mike from MF Woodshop. If you like this video or any of my videos, please like and subscribe to future videos. Um, don't know when my next build video will be. I'm starting a project for a client here in the next day or two. And uh, I want to get that done because it's for her daughter. And her daughter's birthday is coming up. So I want to get that done before her birthday so she has time to paint it or decorate it, whatever she wants to do to it. Um, so it might be a week or so before I can get to another build video. I'm also uh, planning on... Uh, um, get in a uh, craft fair in uh, the weekend after Labor Day and uh, so that might be uh, a good time to knock out some videos for you guys and also uh, knock out some of those projects for that craft fair. Um, once again this is Mike from MF Woodshop and if anybody has any uh, answers to the questions I post or any general comments feel free to leave them in the description or you can email me at mfwoodshop at yahoo.com. And once again, this is Mike from MF Woodshop. Thanks for watching.